Hi and welcome to today's video in which I have an introduction for my project pan which is a rolling one to use 14 items in 2024. So I've selected some items here, some are old, some are new and um, the premise is once I've reached the goal I can roll the item out and then put another one in its place. So I have throughout the year uh, 14 items. Maybe at the very end I may not substitute any more in in the last month or two but um, I'll generally have 14 items. Now I had hoped to film this last week uh, but I've had uh, an upper respiratory tract infection. In fact I had filmed but I was just too hoarse I couldn't uh, speak through it but I hope you all had a lovely new year um, and it all fit and well. Um, so like I said, I've selected the items, I'll go through them with you. The first is a fragrance, I've always got to have a fragrance in, and this is Ecstatic by Balmain Paris. Now Balmain are known as a design house for tailoring, for clothing, and I know they're very famous for their double-breasted double -breasted jackets, women's jackets, and um, they really didn't have a lot of foray into perfume, um, the ones they did, they've discontinued. Um, and so I got a satique which came out around 10 years ago. I didn't get it initially. Um, this is the Eau de Toilette. There is an Eau de Parfum. They're both discontinued. This is readily available, at least here in the UK, anywhere between 30 and 50 pound. I paid about 20 to 24 pound for this a number of years ago. Um, and this is uh, quite an unremarkable, but again, inoffensive floral it's a fruity floral with some musky notes it's quite spring and summery but it's something that I can work on any time I do like it but it's not re a remarkably wonderful fragrance so uh, I'm not keen on the aesthetic it looks like something from the 90s though it's not that old um, but hopefully I can get a good progress on this I had used it prior to starting this um, perfume in last week but um, obviously I'm getting more progress on it but it is only an eau de toilette. The next item is a hair one and it's Kerry Stars and it is the hair oil. Now usually this is in a yellow, it's a clear bottle with a yellow foil back uh, and you can see it's prismatic. Um, I'm not too keen on the original fragrance if, as I recall and so I picked up the rose one which is slightly rose fragranced. There is also or there was a limited edition one maybe for Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year and it a couple of years ago, maybe even three years ago uh, and it quite eastern fragrance and I was interested in buying that but it had uh, I read somewhere it had sandalwood in uh, so I give that a miss but I do like rose if you're not keen on rose you can get the standard or if you can tolerate a little rose because it isn't very strong the fragrance in this one um, but what I do is I put a pump on I drive my hair into two parts uh, put, put a pump on between the two hands and rub it into both sides and then I may add another pump if necessary but it's just the mid lengths and ends after I've put on um, a cream I first will put a hair styling cream first and it's not to style to fix a style it's really what they call a styler but it's to protect the hair and, and um, stop it from frizzing really so this also helps as a smoother and I started this I picked this up last year in 2023 then the next item I've got is from last year's Project Pan and it's Kiko of Milan Instant Moisture Foundation. I've got it on today and I've got about a third, that's where the last break is, I can see the window. So I've got about a third left to use up. The, 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 the cap is lightly, uh, I'm resting it lightly because once you click it, it's very, very difficult to come off. I think it was a fault with these bottles and it has been rebottled. and um, the bottle is different now. So this is one I know I do like. The next item is another, this one is a real favourite of mine, it's It Cosmetic CC Cream. Uh, 50 plus and it's in fair now this one is quite moisturizing it, it says it's supposed purports to have skincare in so you can use that direct on dry skin which probably wouldn't be a bad idea because it is quite emollient and moisturizing but instead I put this on after I've done all my all my um, skincare so it does need for me to be powdered lightly uh, because otherwise my skin just shines 
but it is my favourite CC cream stroke foundation that I've found of this type. Um, I would say this one is a medium and this one is similar in coverage to be honest but it's got the SPF in. So I'll see if I can finish that up. I'm sure I can because I have used many over the years but none last year. So this weighs in at 37.5 gram and the instant moisture is 100 gram for that moisturiser. So I've got that to start. The next item is another one that you've seen before. It's Ilamasca Hydra Setting Mist. So this was in last year's and it now weighs 85.5 gram and I've got about 40% left, I would say. And I have used it today. Um, and it is quite a good spray. The next item here is, is it a bento box they call it? Like a food stacking box. But basically, which is like Korean Japanese style. This is a duo eyeshadow from Wanda Beauty and it's called Double Date and I got this in um, an advent calendar I did, that I got at the end of 22 but I didn't open last year um, it's Nette Porte and it's got a cream base and a pop of um, topper I would say on the next row so creams do go off so I thought I would try that so this one is a coppery I've got it on today as a base it's a coppery cream there it is. I will do a swatch on my hand. It's quite firm. There it is. Now I've only got a wash on my lid, is all I will say, a wash of it, uh, with a airbrush. And then the topper I'll put next to it and I'll just dab a bit on as well. So that's the bottom, that's the top. And I have put some of there on there. So it, it, it does give a lovely, uh, warm, neutral look. And I have got something in the crease as well to darken the crease out slightly from um, another shadow kit. So I'm hoping to use... Well, I would like to hit pan. Let's just say hit pan on both of them. But I will be focusing on this set. The next item is um, one that I have already been using because I want to get it finished off. And this is... Ico of London Black Magic Cocoa Edit or Cocoa Edit. So this is the brown, bronze, orangey, coppery eyeshadow and it, um, eyeliner. And you know, it does go very, very well with um, the eyeshadow that I've selected. In fact, because the eyeshadow is so coppery, it draws it draws away the copperiness in this. So this looks more brown. But if you can see, it's a reddish brown. The eyeliner, the eyeliner so I've got that on today unfortunately it shows up it doesn't always show up if I've got dark shadow you can see it close to the lash line um, it's a comfortable crayon and I just wish it was a more of a taut brown but um, there we go then the next item I have here is from Urban Decay and it is which, which was oh, one of my well it was for the longest time my favourite I'm not so sure, sure now um, but I still do love it. It is Firebird, which is the colour I've got on my lips today. I'll put a bit on here though as well. So basically, it is a bluish fuchsia with, with a purple blue flash through it. So it's like a, a duo. There it's, Can you see? And there's glitter particles in, and it flashes back purple. So I, I do love this. I've got this. Uh, is the Gwen Stefani. Um, collab from a number of years ago and I've got uh, an Urban Decay one in the standard packaging uh, which I prefer because all the all the lettering and has come off now. Uh, it reminds me of Sicily though, their makeup tubes or, or for lipstick are exactly the same as this here. Does remind me of Sicily. Now the next item is a lip balm and it is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's in a pink um, with a blue shift, so it's supposed to be like a holographic sort of print on it or finish, shall I say. And this is um, a lip balm and it does impart a bit of colour. Uh, I got this when it came out a couple of years ago. Uh, what I will say, there was a lot of complaints. One, it's not very moisturising. It adds a bit of colour, this one. There's a white one which doesn't. Um, but it has a horrible taste. Um, if you pass your, your tongue over the lips and the back of your mouth, I don't know, some people report problems with the taste, others don't. It depends whether you are receptive to the chemicals that are in it. But yes, it does. It doesn't have the nice taste. But this is, it's like, where do you, 
that's where it is it's, so you can see there it is it, it does impart a bit of colour not a lot um, I'll try and get use out of it but it's not something I'd use overnight it's just not moisturising enough but that's where we are I will mark it we'll just get this here that's it so it has had quite a bit of use but I want to finish that one up then I have um, a nail polish now I couldn't see until I've just, just done this application last night I couldn't see um, any line because it was filled right to the top and now I can see that um, just above the white label there is where we're starting from so we're nearly full and I've used it about five times up to now and each time I use it I use a double coat I mean I've used when I say five times it's in total because I did use it uh, once or twice when I bought when I got it but this is a limited edition from Barry M which isn't available anymore and it's called Enchanted then the final items are in palettes because what I'm hoping to do is to use up and then I can declutter these palettes so with this one I have used a powder um, I've used quite a lot of them but the only one that I want to focus on or I can really use is this so this is an orange um, peachy but more to orange uh, blush I've got that on today and um, I really do like that so that's so my goal is to once I finish that up I can discard the HD brows and look fantastic kit or face palette and then I've got the Tarte Tartiste so what I'm focusing on is one item um, so which is the cream contour there so I've got that on today and then what I've also got when I finish this I will then roll in this one which is the powder which has got quite a big dip in but you can't really see but there is a big dip in the powder one um, and it's not deep enough to hit pan I don't think and then so I've got this for the contour and this for the highlighter so it's a very subtle doesn't give a lot of sparkle I'm going to try and pull some up that's where it is and because my skin is very pale it may not show anything it's not going to really uh, where have I got it even I can't tell there where well, you can see a bit of flashback there it's there so it's quite subtle and it does smell of um, chocolate so they I think all in total they are the, of 14 items so it, but I would I would like to get rid of these two palettes I would like to get these finished or the items I want to finish in them I would be delighted if we could get them out of the collection and if I could finish um the rest I would be utterly delighted as well so can I say thank you very much for watching as I do appreciate that your time is valuable and hopefully I shall see you in another video I will be filming a few now that I'm feeling a bit better because I'm a bit behind on what I wanted to film unfortunately I hope you'll bear with me with that but like I say take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon and bye for now